Sarah from Average Betty here with my good friend Nicole of Presley's Pantry. Hiya! And we're having a mashed potato party. Party? I thought we were sharing tips on how to make the perfect mashed potato. If I would have known this was a party, I would have brought a mashed potato filled piñata. Well, the holidays are coming and mashed potatoes are the mana that holds the whole meal together. Besides, if you've got kids at your table, chances are that is their meal. True. In that case, those mashed potatoes need to be perfect. <sighs> the pressure. Oh, don't worry, Sarah. We are going to make perfect mashed potatoes for our party, and we're going to teach you some tips to make perfect mashed potatoes at home, too. All right, let's party. So we have three different kinds of Idaho potatoes here, russets, rose, and gold dust. Russets have a higher starch content, which makes for a more fluffy mashed potato. But all these varieties can make great mashed potatoes. And we need to start by peeling the potatoes. Did you know the high starch in Idaho potatoes reacts with the peeling blade, sharpening the blade with each peel? So watch out, finger shavings will ruin your potatoes. And your day. Sometimes I leave the skin on and mash them right into the potatoes. That's very country style of you. No soy del rancho. So I'm slicing these rose potatoes and instead of water, I'm gonna cook them in chicken broth. Let me get these potatoes in the pot. And here's some garlic. Chicken broth will give the potatoes a lovely flavor and in turn, I won't have to use so much cream and butter. We just wanna bring these to a boil. For these russets, I'm cutting them in half like my boy Chef John recommends. Only in halves, not in cubes? Don't doubt Chef John. They'll cook more evenly if you just cut them in half because it's harder to get all the little cubes even in size. That's very equal opportunity of you. Mm-hmm. Cover the potatoes with cold, clean water and add salt. Let's get these potatoes going. These gold dust I've already washed and peeled, and now I'm cutting them into quarters. The gold dust are nice for mashed potatoes because they have an equal starch to moisture ratio, making for a richer taste and pretty golden color. She ain't nothing but a gold digger. Show me the money. Okay, a little salt. My potatoes are boiling. Oh, my potatoes are boiling. Well, let's get the lids on. As you can see, I've drained out more than half of the chicken broth. Now let me add my butter and give it a good mash. Let me add my salt and pepper. Give it a good mix. I need, I need a fork. Mmm. <laughs> mm. So I've drained the water from these russet potatoes and I've returned them to the same warm pot, which helps any leftover water evaporate. Use the masher to break up the potatoes then add softened butter, a little more mashing, and you can add room temperature milk, cream, or I'm using buttermilk. You love buttermilk the way potatoes love gravy. Mm-hmm. And here's a little salt. Get that in there. The obligatory taste test. Do you want to taste mine? Please. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we have these low-fat red potatoes. We have these classic mashed potatoes just ready for a pool of gravy. What do you say we do something a little fancier with the gold dust? Let's get loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these mashed up. Some butter. A little sour cream. A little bit of milk, or as I like to say, leche. <laughs> leche! Some cheddar cheese. Mmm, I smell what you're cooking. A little bit of green onion. And how about some of that bacon? Bacon, baby. Oh, mamacita. <laughs> oh, mamacita is right. <laughs> oh my God, Sarah, please let me have some. <laughs> have a bite, have a bite. <laughs> they look so good. Mmm. Those are so darn good. Mmm. Will you hold me? <laughs> a super fun way to turn mashed potatoes into a party. Besides my mashed potato filled piñata? Is to have a mashed potato martini bar. Supply your guests with a glass, a mountain of mashed potatoes, and all kinds of toppings. We hope our tips help you mash up a perfect batch of famous Idaho potatoes soon. And if they're not perfect, Blame Sarah. Hey!
Hey! Kidding! If you have questions we didn't answer, leave them in the comments. Hmm. These potatoes are a party in my mouth. Find us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to Nicole's channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, mashed potatoes. potatoes.